welcome to my channel. So we are actually visiting family right now. We are traveling full time in the RV, but we stopped here in Missouri to visit uh, my brother-in-law and his family. They took us in for the week, like about a week or so, maybe a little bit more, we'll see. But I had a few things come in since we are traveling full time. I had a few things come into their house, stuff that I've been wanting to order for a while. So I have a few new hair products here that I wanted to try in today's video and kind of give my thoughts and opinions on it. I naturally have a very fine thin hair. That's just how I was born. I don't have a lot of hair and my hair strands are very fine. And right now I'm trying to take care of it as best as I can, I'm trying to grow it out and especially the ends. I'm dealing with a lot of dry, dryness on the ends and while at the same time trying to give myself as much volume. So I got a few products recommended. I watch Chris's channel, The Blowout Professor. He has so many great, so much great advice, I would say, when it comes to hair in general, stuff that just makes sense. So I've been implementing his Trinity Hair Care routine and it's really been helping me with my dryness, but I just bought a few products that I thought I would try. So Redken is a great line and I specifically got their volume injection conditioner and shampoo because I do have fine thin hair. So I wanna use a shampoo and conditioner that's gonna clean my scalp. It's great for the hair, but it also is not going to weigh it down. So I'm gonna give this a try and see. This is gonna be my first time using it. Let me actually smell it. I do love Redken products. I think they're really great. Like salon quality. Oh, I like this. It smells nice, like it's not, it has like a little bit of a floral scent to it. It just smells fresh, but like with a little hint of, I don't know if it's like floral or something, but not overpowering. So we'll see, I'm gonna give this a try. I also got the leave-in conditioner from Pureology that he raves about. This one has 21 benefits, but it's mainly like a spray-in leave-in conditioner that's supposed to help, especially if you have dry hair like I do. Finally got a round brush. He recommended this one from Olivia Garden, and they have different sized barrels. I did already use it. If you guys are like super gross, stop like, why is there hair on it? Yes. <laughs> I did already use it to kind of like brush my hair, but this one is the one and three eighths inch just because my hair is shorter. So if I used a really large barrel, it really wouldn't do much for my hair. It might give it like a little bit of lift, but for me, this barrel size in particular just works better. And I did get everything on Amazon, by the way. I also got the big blowout cream. He recommended this one if you have a fine thin hair, like finer hair, fine to medium hair. So I'm gonna give this a try. And then oh, last but not least, some Heat Hero from Joyco. He did not recommend this. This is when I picked myself. I think he recommended Redken 22, which is a thermal protectant. Even though some of these products do have like a thermal protection in them, a heat protectant in it, it's not enough if you're going to be using hot tools, he says, because hot tools are just so much hotter. So the way that you use these, you use it when right before you use a hot tool. So you take a section of hair that you're going to be using a hot tool on, spray it, and then you go ahead and curl your hair or flat iron it, whatever it is you're gonna be doing. And it's also supposed to, this one in particular says it has glossing thermal action and then like a split end mender, like multiple benefits. There's so many different kinds. There's Kenra, he recommends if you're kind of a pro, but I'm gonna give this one a try because I do love Joico as a brand. I think they're a really good hair care brand. And I also love Redken. And then I have some lash stuff in here. I was gonna do a lash video today, but I don't have, I didn't take my lashes with me. They're in the RV, so I'm gonna have to pop drive there and get some washes, hopefully do a video this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash, shampoo, and condition my hair with the Redken shampoo and conditioner. Usually I do use the Redken ABC uh, pre-shower treatment. It's kind of like the Olaplex number three. It's really great if you have like brittle hair and you use that on damp hair, leave it in for 10 minutes, and then wash it out and shampoo and condition like normal. I didn't bring that, it's in the RV, so I'm just gonna shampoo and condition and then use the, um, the after shower. All right, hair is all washed. Did my makeup real quick, just like a quick makeup look, and I am going to dry it now. So I wish I had somewhere to place my camera. Maybe I'll just do this. I know the lighting in here is not the best. I'm just working with the situation at hand just to kind of share different products with you guys. So starting with the shampoo and conditioner, love the scent. I think it has like a very nice light, a little bit of hint of a floral scent. And for the first time ever, I know this sounds weird, but I didn't really experience any shedding in the shower. That's something that I really struggle with is a lot of times I will, especially in the shower, I'll kind of be shampooing my hair, running my fingers through my hair. And when I'm applying product and afterwards, I will get shedding in terms of like getting I don't know, anywhere from five plus pieces of hair. But this time I didn't, so I don't know if it's the shampoo or maybe something shifted. 
and the shampoo is just a coincidence but I did shampoo twice I don't always shampoo twice but this is a new shampoo so I really wanted to get a good clean in second time you definitely get a better lather in I will say and I know they seem expensive but a little bit goes a long way you don't have to shampoo twice I just did that the first time and I would definitely say that they invest in their formulas compared to drugstore I know it can be very tempting to get a very affordable shampoo and conditioner but one thing I noticed is that I got more of like a natural one and I've tried so many different kinds of shampoos I just feel like they might these might clean your hair better therefore you don't get as oily of a scalp just an opinion but I know a lot of people out there do feel the same way and then the conditioner I never really used to con use conditioner I probably use it like five out of ten times but ever since I've been struggling with dry hair I'm really trying to keep it you know moisturized and healthy I uh, my conditioner is a must for me so that's why I bought the set and we'll see it's starting to dry up so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the products I have two leave-in products here usually I'll do the leave-in treatment from treatment what was that I'll, I'll do the leave-in treatment from Redken it's the acidic bonding concentrate it's kind of like a leave-in conditioner but it's not a spray formula it's for like really dry damaged hair which is why I've been using it but today I'm gonna give this a try this is a Pureology Color Fanatic multitasking leave-in spray so I'm gonna spray this throughout the hair and we will see hopefully I don't end up with really dry hair I've never used this before so I really don't want to overdo it because I do have fine thin hair so I don't want to weigh it down so my rule of thumb always is start with a little bit if you feel like your hair is fine you can always next time you do a little bit more mist and clean damp hair and then comb through prior to styling so it has a lot of benefits like I said it says 21 benefits helps preserve color vibrancy detangles makes blow drying easier moisturizes parched hair smooths hair fiber like 21 different things but I wouldn't rely this solely on as a heat protectant okay hold on it's brand new so I don't want to spray it too close it smells nice. Why do I feel like it's spitting at me? Okay, it has like a pretty strong spray in the middle. I'm not sure. I don't want to overdo it like I said. So I'm going to do a few spritz on the ends and then call it a day. It smells really nice. I feel like salon products always smell so nice. So it smells nice without being too overpowering. And I'm going to go in with a big blowout to heat protectant heat protecting blowout jelly. Usually I'll use the Color Wow volumizer. That thing is so weightless. You can't even feel it in your hair. So I'm hoping this is the same. It gives me volume without making my hair feel weighed down, but I guess we'll see. So I'm just gonna use like a pea-sized amount because I do have very short hair and it's fine and thin. Rub it in my palms and then run it through my hair. Oh, my hair smells so nice, you guys. I wish I took my hair oil because I feel like it's so important to seal in your cuticles, especially if you have really dry ends. I didn't. I am having a little bit of shedding, but honestly, not as much as usual. I am surprised. I don't know what it is, but I'm not complaining. So I'm going to spray a little bit of this. I know it's not a hair oil, but it's the next best thing that I have, and then kind of apply it just to the ends. That for me is a must. I know Way has one. That's the one that I use their hair oil to seal in the cuticles, and then Orbe, not Orbe. Plex. They all start with an L. That one, number seven, eight, something like that. They have like a little bottle oil. That one's I hear is great too, but I have the way more. Right, that's it for leave-in products. Now for the fun part, blow drying. I have this round brush right here, and I think I'm gonna start maybe here in the front, maybe in the back. I don't really know. I'm using my sister-in-law's blow dryer here, and it comes with a diffuser so that's great so like your hair's not blowing all over the place. Louise isn't here with me if you hear anything but I went ahead and blow dried the hair other than this middle section right here which I'm going to do last. And using a round brush can be tricky. I'm not an expert because it just, I feel like it takes a lot of effort. But what I like to focus on, I prefer um, rollers. I started using rollers from Dry Bar. I think they're just so great for kind of getting that volume where you want it. The round brush, what I like to do is I focus on the areas where I know I want lift, like for example, right here. I'll take the round brush and kind of 
um, blow dry it at the roots so that I get that lift and then kind of pull it through and like do this so that it curls inward. That's just how I prefer to do my hair and then same thing in the back. I'll kind of like blow dry the roots and then slowly brush it through and then do the end curl that inward. And with this middle section, I kind of like to use my rollers backwards so you get that curtain bang effect. So I'm gonna start like this, just kind of brush it forwards so and blow dry it that way. I don't know if that makes sense, but if you have a method you like, then just do whatever you prefer. This method you kind of get like that curtain bang effect a little bit so a few things I'm noticing right away my hair feels so healthy like so healthy I don't think my hair has felt this healthy in such a long time ever since I started um, changing up my hair routine it just feels so soft and so healthy usually I used to think that I preferred when my hair felt more like textured and stuff because I was able to manipulate it more and get more volume out of it but it was just not good for my hair and not good for hair growth so I really changed up my hair routine it feels super super duper soft and weightless I think I might have overdone it a little bit with the leave-in conditioner I think I'll use a little bit next a little bit next a little bit less next time because I feel like maybe by tomorrow or by the end of the day my hair might start to look greasy so that's the thing I have to be careful with so I'll probably use less next time right, so I'm heating up my curling iron I have the t3 interchangeable barrel one it comes with three different barrels you just pop them out and you can change different sized barrels this one's the smallest one I like to use it when my hair is short because I get the best curl with it spray on dry hair before using a hot tool I'll reapply after styling to finish let me actually smell it see what it smells like I do love Joico Oh, it smells like a little bit of a hairspray. It smells like a hairspray mixed with a glossing spray. I don't know if anybody has ever, my sister used to always use a glossing spray. This reminds me so much of that. And she always used to use Draco, so maybe that's just what it is. Okay, so I'm going to start with the front. And I am very new to thermal sprays, so I'm just going to do a light mist. I'm kind of scared to overdo it. And I probably would leave my hair as is and not curl it but I just want to test out this spray and see if the curls hold how my hair looks it looks glossier and we'll see I'm gonna hold it here so it can like cool down just get more of a curl and then go on to the next section the nice thing about fine thin hair probably the only nice thing is that it does not take long to style your hair at all and it's very hard for me to see what I'm doing right now. So if I missed that whole section, just because I'm using my camera viewfinder as a mirror, since the mirror's all the way up there and I have nowhere to place my camera. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of the hair off camera, just because I wanna see what I'm doing. And I'll pop back on here when it's all curled. I'm done with curling the hair. I do feel a teensy bit of hold. It's not like a hairspray hold, but I do feel that it gives a little bit of hold. And I let the curls cool down before I go ahead and separate them. I don't know if I should spray it before I separate it or after, but let me kind of go through real quick. I am noticing that hair does feel like it has a bit of shine to it. I know that using a brush like this is going to make the curls lose their curl. See, this side is already flat. I honestly don't think this product is going to help too much with making my hair hold a curl better. It does help a little bit, but I'm probably gonna have to go back and like recurl a few of these pieces. But the hair does not feel crunchy at all. And the main thing that I got it for is to use it as a heat protectant, because I feel like that is so important. I don't always use a hot tool, but maybe once a week I'll use it, like when we're going to church or something, or if we're going out, which is where we live in the RV <laughs> right now. So probably once a week at most currently. But if you use a hot tool, highly recommend the Heat Hero or some kind of thermal protectant. I didn't really know about them. I kind of relied on my other products to give me heat protectant, but that's just not the case when it comes to using hot tools. Like the leave-in conditioner will be great to protect you from blow drying, like the blow dry spray as well, but not so much for your hot tools. But otherwise, I really like how my hair feels. Just thought I would test out some new hair products. For anyone that has fine thin hair, 
I do like the shampoo and conditioner. Hair smells really nice. Hair feels weightless. Love the leave-in conditioner. I've been needing one, so this one's great. I think I'm just gonna use a little bit less next time. The hair doesn't look greasy. It looks really healthy and it's great for colored hair as well. You know, it looks like it's glossy thanks to the heat protectant. So it does look really healthy, feels healthy. That's like the most important thing. And then the big blowout spray right here. I've been wanting to try this out, so that's something that I'm gonna add into my hair care routine as well. The only thing I'm missing, I would say, is a hair oil for the ends. Before you blow dry your hair, I would use a hair oil for the cuticles or even after. If you feel like your hair needs a little bit extra moisture, just kind of run it through gently on the ends. But my hair doesn't look dry, it doesn't look like straw, it looks healthy. It looks and it feels healthy, so that's the most important thing. So I just thought I would share about some of these products. I got mine all on Amazon through the Amazon Beauty program that I partner with. I will leave the links to all of them down below if you guys want to check them out. You don't have to use these specific kinds. There are different, so many products out there. You could just type in the key protectants, leave-in conditioners, and Amazon has so many different options. But just thought I would share my experience with these products. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in future videos.